a second now. The paper carrier bag? Yes. So I'm going to talk about that on the oh, show. Never going spirit. Well, it's not spirit, it's frontier. Oh. Dude, this computer. Is it worse? What am I doing? Okay. Okay. Are we are we live, Dave? My flight is booked. Yay! Your flight is he not booked. We're live. Wait, wait, wait. You're supposed to tell us that before we actually are live. Sorry, guys. We didn't know we were live. I did. I was just getting my flight booked. I see. Or I mean, confirmed. Ah, I see. Okay, let's see what what the peeps are saying. Hi, here. everyone. You have the, where's Facebook? Okay. That's where I was going. Mom, you were doing all this typing. You don't need to do this Mom. typing. Your flight is booked. You can tell me to do something or how to do something, but not both. <laughs> okay. Today Nobody. Oh, hey, Nancy, disgusting. Diana. Oh, hey, Diana. Bandana Grandma, MK Lone Star, oh. April Margaret, Amy, Amy, Ms. Oh. T, all right. Hi, everyone. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> Happy Wednesday from the surface of the sun, Colorado. <laughs> so it's 997 here today, and it's 77 in Michigan. Whoa. Well, there you go. We need to figure out why Facebook is only showing me one comment at a time. The sound isn't good. Hmm. Is the audio on? Yeah, it looks like it should be all right. Turn your little bell up on your Facebook or YouTube where they where you adjust the volume. Maybe that's, that's what it is. We're okay. crackling. Can you go to livingonadime.com? They say we're crackling. It's just their imagination. Well, it's not one. It's not just one. Mother. Person. It's just their imagination, dear. That was. Mm. That was red. <laughs> Yeah. Something was red on the computer. Mom. No, it wasn't on the computer. Uh, what? Hi, Natalie from Oz. <laughs> Tar's got to check the recipe. Oh, on wait. Here. Uh, what? Hi, Natalie from Oz. Yeah, it is kind of crackly. <laughs> Tar's got to check the So I'd be it's still one. crackly? Well, Dave just turned off the fan, so hopefully that will solve the problem. We forgot we had a big fan going because it's kind of hot here. Yeah. Um, we're going to wait just a second until we catch up, till our audio catches up to the fan so we can tell if that's the issue. Okay. If so, it should be fixed. Today we are making peanut butter Oreo pie without the peanut butter because Mike doesn't like peanut butter. I hear static. Okay. Are we still hearing static? I'm still hearing. Oh, it's still crackling. Oh well, so goes life. Okay, here you go. Open up the Oreos. And I'm gonna oh, take a bite of one. I'm just kidding, I'm not. <laughs> but can I but if, but when we're doing this, can I have some of the gold? How many pieces do I get? Can we hold as up? many as you'd like? Can you pause wow. for a second? I can't open this. Okay, so Mike's working on the uh, audio here. No one can really hear you. Ports to is the scissors. Is it too hot? Talk Why are they open? Testing one, two, three. I got my flight booked to Michigan. I'm going to tell you about it. Mm -hmm. Wait. Oh, she got her flight booked to Michigan. Off. Okay, now can you guys hear me? Um, let's see. No, you are crackling, Janice says. Still crackling. Well, okay. everything is like there 20 seconds behind, so. Alright. Go for it. Okay. Yes. Actually, so, Sounds better now. We have our butter and our margarine mix, just because that's what I had. We're going to melt that. Butter and margarine. Okay, so count out yeah, 20 it's better cookies. Now. 20! Okay, yay. Everyone says okay now, better now. Thank you. All I did was just unplug everything and plug it back in. Okay. All right. One. Open the whole package. 
<laughs> Two. Three. <laughs> what a teasy. So Donna's asking, are you going to check out the new house? Five. Well, I'm going, out, going to check out the house. Seven, I don't know if we're going to get it, though. Eight. Nine. Um, ten. We figure eleven. if it's meant to be, it'll be. Wait, oh. I just realized something. He figures something. if it's meant Twelve. to be, it'll be. I figure, hey, Three, jump out on the line six, here. Nine. Ten. Um, perfect. <laughs> okay. I'll talk about it in just a minute. That's a lot. Why do you so many cookies? Yep. Okay, start smashing them up now. Why so many cookies? Well, I thought that. By the way, I thought this was um vanilla and I mean not vanilla um only chocolate and peanut butter. Why is there vanilla? Oh, you crazy guy! Yay! Smash them. Do okay. I do it like this? <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm literally smashing them. Okay. Maybe they should be called Oreo pie, Oreo pie, since there's no peanut butter. Oreo pie, since there's no peanut butter? Yeah. Well, it probably will be if we're not going to put the peanut butter in it. Okay, so now I should have put these in a bag. Here, let's put them in a bag. It'll be easier. So today, did you say what we were making today? It's supposed to be chocolate and peanut butter pie, but now it's only chocolate and vanilla pie. There you go. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to share the recipe link in the in the description or in the comments. Okay. And zip. And. Ooh, it's musical. Saying they're hearing a Oreos. big pounding sound. That's this. Okay. That's supposed. That pounding sound was this. <laughs> Jonathan said, "Okay, sound is good. Now let's talk about what's wrong with Mike not liking peanut butter." <laughs> yep. Well, here Can I promoted it as a peanut butter pie, <laughs> but I well, actually prefer it. Well, it is. The recipe pie. is peanut butter pie, but I thought you wanted to eat some. No, oh, that's fine. Yes, thank you. Sorry. Jack needs to sample the Oreos to make sure they're not stale. Diana well, says. You better make sure the Oreos. They're definitely are not stale because we're able to crush them. Oh. <laughs> but do you think that um do you think Maybe that we're... they're tasty enough? Did you test them to see if they're tasty enough? I tested one. You did? Here, I'll test another. Just for you guys. Here. Okay, he's gonna test another. You let us know, Mr. Taste Tester, what you think. It's a little too chocolatey. I'm just kidding. How can an Oreo be too chocolatey? Then Dana Grandma asks if you're subdued because of the heat, or if you're just not having a good day. Both. Here. Um, Have the rest. Jack, you are so cute. Thank oh, you. wait. I, I forgot. Can't. You're gluten free. No, I am. So I don't get those things. But that's okay. Okay, so here we go. Got it all pressed in. <laughs> Rolling pin is not as much fun. <laughs> there. You want to press it in really good. You probably want them a little bit thinner, but that's okay. <clears throat> okay, now, this is a great no-bake recipe for summer. All right, plop that baby in. Mom, can I have a spoon full of this stuff? <sighs> Come on, Facebook. Because you know, I have to test if it's poisonous or not. You do? Uh oh. Okay, so I'm putting in my powdered sugar. Ew, what is this? Jack's gonna add the cream cheese. Crunches, but I don't like crunches. Was the car still here <laughs> when you came home? Uh, I don't think so. No. Oh, did they actually get it? I think maybe so. Yay. Oh, Denise said I should drive over the cookies with the car. Yeah, I don't that's like a good idea. Cream cheese. How do you know? Because I tasted it. When? Well, 
And a donut, at least. But <clears throat> And a donut. Okay, mm. now, since Mike doesn't like peanut butter, I am adding a couple of tablespoons of cocoa. I don't like cocoa! I'm just kidding. I'm oh, just Jill kidding. says, sorry, she can't come in on YouTube right now. Okay. You're putting in all the then, things that I hate, air quotes. Oh, no. I'm just kidding. Chocolate chips. Now, if we were making this the peanut butter one like the recipe says, start smashing that together. Then we'd also add the peanut butter in there, too. Da, 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 da. Uh, oh! But this is like Ooh. a really adaptable recipe because you can... Um, like a piece of steak, it sticks. Okay, well, steak doesn't stick, but... <laughs> All right, let's see here. You smash so, that half, I'll smash this half. Sort of looks like steak for a moment. I don't know why. So my cream cheese should have been just softened just here. Let me just, hold on. What? Why is she milking the picture? Oh, Joanne, I hope you had fun at the beach today. <laughs> so why would people go to the beach when it's 100 degrees out? Wouldn't that be hot? Well, yeah, but it's Not cool. if you have an umbrella. It's cooler in the water. True. <laughs> Well. Kathy says you should move to Oregon much cooler. <laughs> Why? Actually, I wouldn't mind moving to Oregon, but their taxes are absolutely ridiculous there. They're absolutely Oregon, ridiculous. Wisconsin, all the colony states. <gasps> is Michigan? I'm just all kidding. Of those Michigan is in a colony. Oh, Paige says it's her anniversary. Oh, happy anniversary, happy Paige. Anniversary. Oregon is, uh, actually, is it? No. Oregon is for the pioneers. Yeah. I didn't think that was a colony, was it? No. Oregon is on the other side. Yeah. You but, said it was a colony! No, I didn't. Oh. I'm just saying Oregon, Washington, California, the colony states. So what would a colony state be? Uh, one of the 13 colonies. And that would be, what, what, would, what would be one of those? Um, hmm. Let me do this. I have the list. Virginia. <laughs> Yay. That's I one. I have the list. Okay, keep, can you name all 13? Uh, not really. I have the list pulled up on Google. You can't name all 13? Uh, no. Two or three more. It's pretty much all the Eastern Virginia. ones, like really um, Eastern. Hmm. Okay. <gasps> I think Hampshire? New Hampshire, yeah, yes. Yeah, New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. And then... Oh, sorry everyone. Uh, the name I remember for the state is the shortened version, but um, I don't actually remember the full name. So what's the shortened version? Maine. <laughs> Maine, that's the name, Maine. Oh, it is? Yeah. Sound was Maine a colony? Maine wasn't a colony. No, I Maine wasn't a colony. No, Maine wasn't actually a colony. I don't think colony. it was one of the original. Oh. Uh, I don't think. So New Hampshire, Connecticut, I have all of them on yeah. the list. New York. Oh, Deborah says I hi. I can't believe I forgot New York. <laughs> Deborah says hi. It's the first time I've caught you live from Ohio. Wow. Glad you're hello. here, Deborah. At Goshen's on. They say they actually start house hunting Monday. Yay! <laughs> so maybe Yay! we should find somewhere close to where we're planning on hopefully going. So we're going to talk about house hunting, so I may be house you know, hunting with, out of Goshen on Monday. You know, originally, I was, um... Can I put this in? They said we're sad Origi Mike and Dave and Jack aren't coming out for a visit. Aww. I would love to, but... Well, they might. How now, much? if I like this place, they might... <gasps> they might come out. Mother of many horses said I wasn't expecting you to be on tonight. Couldn't get a flight? No, I did. Yeah, her flight was I just got a for flight tomorrow. Just to, so, I'll tell you guys what happened in just a little bit. Patty G says that we're doing rain yeah. dances here in Colorado. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna oh man, we're always doing rain dances in Colorado. It'd be nice for rain long enough to take the smoke out of the air. It's really smoky. Uh, B says Jack is going to be a good husband someday. <laughs> Are you sure? Cooking? Are you going to cook your wife a chocolate pie? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> the white picket So, pits. do you know what you have to do with the rest of it? The white, Get it! the white picket fence says, as much as I dislike oh. Michigan, and then Mom. they say football thing. It's a gorgeous state, and that house looked awesome. <laughs> Yay! Uh, I have no idea what that means, because uh, I don't watch football. 
Okay, so then you stir all this together and get it all in here. Nom, nom, nom! Get it all mixed, all yummyified. Oops, I forgot to share. I shared the link once. Let me share it again here. And. Okay, now this recipe is not in our Dining on a Dime cookbook, but it's one of the recipes that is our top recipes on the website. It was like number one on Pinterest for a really long time. Mom. Just a minute. Um, also, guys, before I forget, don't forget I'm having my soap on sale still. Do you want to put it in here? Sure. And it is 25% off with free shipping if you order $30 or more until tonight Actually, at midnight. Okay, until tonight at midnight. After, um, after that, it's going back up. Okay, so if you want to get some soap on sale, go grab it. Okay, tell them your joke. Mm. What did the what did the first ocean say to the other ocean? What did the first ocean say to the other ocean? They it didn't say anything. It just waved. Oh, <laughs> oh I get it. <laughs> That's funny. I get it. Wow. That's a joke that mom got. I got it. <laughs> I got it. Okay. It on so the then thing. you start smushing it in like this. And we forgot to stay down. Um, there you go. Ooh, that looks nice. That looks smooth. That doesn't that look looks perfect. really nice. Wow. I'm Mr. Monk. It doesn't look <laughs> perfect like Mr. Monk. He no. says he's Mr. Monk. Okay, try and <laughs> taste it and see what you think. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Then go up and make little ditties. Hmm. 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 It's a jungle hmm. out there. This oh, no. Thing. No, we cannot sing. What? Oh. Why? So Tara was upset because she sang a lullaby mm -hmm. kind of, that was pretty mm -hmm. much a homemade lullaby the other day. And we got a copyright strike. And little turds. <coughs> YouTube smacked us and said it was a copyright strike. Well, not a strike, mm -hmm. but. Hmm. Claim. A copyright claim and they're It tastes like cheese and I don't really like the taste of cheese. They're paying our ad money to somebody else. It still tastes pretty good. But we Decent. challenged it, so oops. We challenged it, so is we have no to wait. bake. So apparently lullaby is copyrighted. Or so they think. Okay guys, so oh, there that you go. Delish. And that was with the help of a nine year old. If without the help it would have been done in about two minutes. But that's okay. <laughs> so stick this in the fridge. What? And Are you then... saying that I'm slow? <laughs> no. Yep. No. <laughs> I'm saying that you're just a nine-year-old messing around. <laughs> you know it. Um, so, that is it. That is it. So, I have my personal item bag kit packed. Whoa. I'm not going to even do a carry-on. Is that everything? What? This is it. This How is going to be my personal item. Well, why should I pay $38 to have a suitcase? So you can have two pairs of clothes. <laughs> no, I have two pairs of clothes in she here. She put four what? pairs, four, four underwear. I mean, well, I intended for her to do five underwear. Oh, you intended uh, for me to do five underwear? Uh, she has Thanks, like Dave. two yes. shirts and two pants for the... Yeah. So I'm going to have everything in my carry-on. So I have my purse, which I'm taking. Thank you, Jonathan, for the material. Thank you, Mom, for making me my new tote. Isn't that cute? So this is going to be my purse. So I got this stuffed in here. And I already have the iPad in here. And all I have to do is stick in my computer and power cord. <gasps> oh. And when, I'm ready to go. Wendy says Wayne, uh, Maine was part of Massachusetts. Maine was part of Massachusetts? I bet that's true. I didn't know that. Uh, yes, yeah, so you'll be ready to go. So you're taking your computer so, and everything, huh? This is oh, my... Maryland. They said was one of the colonies. Maryland was, yeah. So this is my personal item. I was rather proud of myself getting everything in my personal items. Well, I'm pay pretty for impressed, it. yeah. 
So, did I do a good job? That pie was delicious. I never had any fruit punch, though. Mike got me some granola bars. I'm going to throw those in there. Did I get too many of them? Probably, but that's okay. Um, so people, what Tara's talking about on the taxes is property taxes because um, things like sales taxes are... Um, you pay for sales tax one way for, or another. Yeah, but things like income tax, you only pay when you have an income. But we'd like it if we like retired and didn't oh. have an income that we didn't have to still pay eight or nine hundred dollars a month on the house oh, in for taxes. property taxes. So and a lot of places we've looked to spend that way. Here in Colorado, it's our taxes are higher than the rest of the town, but um, but they're still not nearly that high. <laughs> so I don't think anybody's noticed. Have I noticed? You noticed, but nobody else has noticed on the show. Oh, that. Oh, okay. I don't think they've noticed. Okay. Oh, because so, people are wondering okay, you why ready, you're Dave? not seeming so... You ready, Dave? Oh, Janet, Janet noticed. <laughs> Dave, are you ready? Yeah, ready. Thumbnail! Okay, do you think that'll get it? No, that didn't. Okay, thumbnail! What are we getting? Thumbnail! For you what? You think that got it? You think they'll notice? Uh, well, okay. Janet noticed, but she's the only one so far, I think. Oh, seriously? So these We're came the in the mail there. today. We're going to slather these on all sides of the car. <laughs> <laughs> all I said is we need a slightly bigger one when it says, like, be beware. Well, I could make a poster for him. Use Should I make a poster? Use extra caution. Actually, I told Tara what we need is to have... We need to have those little emergency stickers to stick on the car that say like high explosives and a little radiation symbol and like stay back in really big letters. <laughs> um, yeah, so we got our Beware of Dave sign today. Oh, Jack, everyone loved your joke. Um, so, yeah. Please so anyway, um, it's only one person noticed. To. Wow, that's crazy. Um, well, tell them what you're talking about. <laughs> Funny how comfortable Jack used to become in front of the camera from the early days. So shy, hiding behind mom, barely speaking, but now quite the little adorable diva. <laughs> <laughs> he was informing me. Was that me, really? You were informing me today how you wanted his own YouTube channel, and he said, you know, most kids, they'd be really afraid, but not me, because I'm already a YouTube star. <laughs> 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 I think we need to work on the, um... You know, humility a little bit there. <laughs> humility, what do you mean? See, we need to work on humility. What's um, humility? Yeah, you could put this on your microwave too, and that could be, or your stove, when they're learning to cook. Okay, so, the house. So here's what happened. And it says driver, not cooker. So Monday night, we had a discussion. That's what you call it, right? A discussion? Um, no. No, we really didn't. Um, we So we talked about it, and we were like, Mike's like, well, I don't want to be rushing into anything. It's only been 10 hours since you first told me about the house, and I don't want to be making an offer tomorrow morning. Mom, what's That's humiliation? That's basically what I was saying. So he was like, I don't want to be rushing it. But for me, if I see something, I'm like, well, at least let's check it out. I didn't um, say we shouldn't check it out. So... He didn't want to rush it, so I was like, okay. So then we said, well, we'll just wait, and if it's still available for the Hoot Nanny, for Pratt Family Hoot Nanny in um, July 28th, the day before my birthday. So excited. Mm -hmm. I was going to go to it. I thought I'd have all these people at my birthday party. That yes. would be so fun. Um, the biggest birthday party ever. Um <laughs> Stormy was guessing hair color or glasses. Nope, that's not it. Thumbnail. Actually, other people were saying the same. Uh, Thumbnail. There are a number who have guessed. Did they guess right? Oh, there were a number of people who have oh, guessed okay. correctly. So, um... Wait, or at least I think they guessed correctly. Okay, yeah. so I'll tell you about my thumbnail Your in mom's... just a minute. My mom better not be giving she, it away. She says it's not that, so maybe I don't understand what it is. <laughs> I thought it's what I thought. Oh, 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 I see. Okay, never mind. A yes. lot of okay. were saying A lot of correctly. people were guessing. I thought you meant because of your unfortunate accident. What unfortunate accident? At the dentist that you were oh, lamenting. That. Oh, yeah. So, um, 
so we had decided Monday night, okay, we're just going to wait. If it's still available for the Hoot Nanny, then we're going to drive out there and look at it on the week before we go to the Hoot Nanny. Well, actually, a lot of people are guessing it now. Did they? Yeah. So, um, so, so a lot of people figured it out, huh? Yeah. Am I that? Am I a thousand times beautifuler now? Yep. Uh, oh, thanks. Hey, you wanted me to be. You here. should say, dear, your beauty radiated no matter what happens. Your beauty radiates everywhere. I always say that. Is your uh, nose swollen? <laughs> it's my nose swollen. Stormy's just reaching. <laughs> I'll tell you in just a second, Stormy. <laughs> um, so, let me just say, I injured my lip doing it. Um, so, uh... Did you bite uh, it? Sorry, hang on a second. If you're on YouTube I, and you can't post comments, because I noticed a number of people saying that's the case, Make sure that you're logged in. If you go up to the upper right, if it says sign in, you need to sign in to your Google account when you're in YouTube. Uh, if you still can't post comments, I'm not sure why. So hopefully that's the issue for, because a number of people said that you can't post, so. Yep. Go ahead, dear. Um, yes, the recipe, guys, I already did it. It's done, it worked great. So, um, so I was gonna go, so Monday we were gonna leave it. And we were just going to go for the hoot nanny. Well, then Monday morning I woke up. I talked to Heidi. I talked to Donna. Wait, Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning. I talked yeah. to Heidi. I talked to Donna. I talked to Patty. And I talked to Gina. And they were all like, wow, that place is really nice. I'm like, I know. I know. I've only been looking for a house for almost two years. I know. And then I was like, oh, forget it. I'm going out. So, <laughs> so I emailed Mike and I said, I know I decided to wait for the Hoot Nanny, but I really think someone has looked, someone looked at it two hours ago already. The realtor said that they would wait till I got there before accepting any offers. Um, I, I, um, Told Mike, I really, 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 this house has every single thing we want. Literally every single thing. And I was going to go out tomorrow afternoon. I could still get a ticket tomorrow afternoon, yesterday morning. But we had dentist appointments. And um, so I thought, well, let's just go. I'll go on Thursday. The, the lady said, just so we're not totally rushed. The lady said um, that she would wait and hold the offers until we came to look at it, if they get any. So I am leaving tomorrow afternoon. Well, so then in the middle of all that, we had our dentist appointment and Jack and I ended up spending five hours at the dentist office yesterday for what should have been about an hour and a half thing. So we got there and it was Jack's appointment. Well, I couldn't get one for an hour later. So Jack got in. We got there 25 minutes early. Jack got in right away. Got him done. Well, then they had to wait for me. Well, then they said, oh, you've got a really big cavity. People, floss your teeth. Don't do as I do. Do as I say. Floss your teeth. So. <laughs> What's floss? <laughs> you better figure it out, boy. Um. So I know what boss is, guys. Don't worry. One of my one of my fillings had a cavity under it, and so um, oh my, what was that for? Because this time tomorrow I won't be here. I'll be on an airplane zooming across the no, United we'll States. No, we'll be having a party. Oh, oh, like, <laughs> you'll Whoa. be having a party, huh? Uh, some people are right. asking you to recap where the house is. You know what, moms? <laughs> have you been practicing with the lips, bandana grandma wants to practicing know. what? With the lips. With the lips. Yes. Those things gave me cankers or is it didn't lips. go away for two weeks. Oh, lips. yes, the lips. Yeah, I have a swollen lip this morning. So, or well, today. What? Um, you know, for some reason, whenever you're gone, me and Dave hardly ever fought fights. <laughs> okay, well, then I'm going to go on a permanent vacation. No! <laughs> <laughs> um, so they're asking where is the house? So the house is in 
on Lake Huron. Lake Huron is literally, I mean, it's probably what? Quarter of a mile, if that far? I thought it was further. Yeah, I don't think it is, according to no. the map. Um, so it's on Lake Huron in the middle north Michigan. Middle, in the kind of north of middle Michigan. Oh, you're talking about and, the distance from Lake Huron? Um, so here's what happened. So I ended up spending, so I didn't get my ticket before we left for the dentist because I was waiting for the realtor to call back and tell me that they hadn't sold it or anything first before I paid for my ticket. So she didn't call me back, so we had to go to the dentist. So here I'm sitting in the dentist's office with Jack in the chair making arrangements <laughs> to fly to Michigan. And so we were sitting waiting that. So I got my arrangements made for who's going to pick me up and stuff. And um, Did you go Uber? so click, 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 then click, click. We, got, we got to the dentist at noon. We got home at 530. So then um, I go and get my flight booked. So we got my flight booked. Well, then I started talking to Out of Goshen and our viewer Penny that I went to go visit last October there. We got her flight booked. Oh. <laughs> and um, <laughs> so we ended up doing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so we ended up with. Friday, no, tomorrow afternoon, Penny's picking me up from the airport. Friday morning, out of Goshen is going to take me up there and go house hunting and look around because they wanted to look around too. Gwen says, show us where on your hand if you move here. That's your map. <laughs> yes, I know. So let's see. Like this, it's right there. No. So. They'll know. If no, it it's like here, isn't it? Well. Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought you were putting no. it different way. Yeah, yeah, it's like oh, sorry, if you, I thought you were pointing somewhere else. It's like right there, there's a little nook that goes around that way, and it's like right there, isn't it? Can I finish my story? I just looked on Google Maps. I've only had 3,000 interruptions. interruptions. Oh. Yeah, I know, you need more. Okay, so, <laughs> Out of Goshen is picking no, me up tomorrow know. morning, or Friday morning, Friday morning, and we're going to drive up and go look at the house. Then they're going to drive me back to Penny's, and then Penny and I, on the weekend, are possibly going to go back up, and she got Monday off, so we may go Monday too, and we're going to go back up and look around. If that house doesn't work, I may drive around to look at a few more houses if it's not too hot and humid. Um, if it is a good house and we like it, then I'll probably call Mike, just so you're warned. Friday afternoon and say, pack up the boys, get in the car, get to Omaha tonight, and get over here Saturday night and come look at this on Sunday. You wouldn't want me to just fly? <laughs> well, I figured the boys might want to come too so they could feel a little more comforted by this whole thing. I honestly don't care. Or I guess we could just wait and go back again for the hoot nanny then, if it worked. That honestly, might work, I guess. I honestly don't care, but I would love to get a little there. Are there mountains in the section of Canada up there? No. I can't. No. Yeah, I didn't see any. You know, it's forest, like but it's not mountains. Do you guys like all Forests. of my all of my shreds from my soap pictures that we did for my new soap store, which is put guys. on hold right now. My new soap supply store is put on hold until I get back from this trip. 82 pictures um, I had to take with the camera and then ugh, fix up. It was crazy. Um... Well, what are you? What so, on oh. the um, soap, on the soap question, she got the wrong thing. You can probably just run it as olive oil. It's not going to change that much between the olive and canola, but just put seventy-five percent canola and twenty-five percent olive in your calculator. Yeah. So if you do four four cups of olive oil, then do one cup of um. Four cups, then do three cups of olive oil and one cup of canola. Colette says this is so exciting. My two favorite channels coming to Michigan. Yeah, so it's kind of uh, it's kind of unreal actually. I've been watching out of Goshen look for their house. Of course, they're good friends of ours now because they visit us and we visited them and we like each other. 
And Eric's very sad that Mike's not coming to talk, you know, all that not yet. crazy, crazy computers to talk with him. Um, but, um, and I knew about the baby before anybody else. <laughs> Out of Goshen's baby. <laughs> oh, not my no. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. No, I'm not making an announcement. Um, and, um, Mom would never do that. So it's kind of funny because here I've been watching them, and honestly, Michigan really wasn't on our radar. And out of Goshen went, and I will tell you, do you know what flipped my radar? You want to know what flipped my Oh, honey, you want to know what flipped my radar? Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's one of those moments. Content. Um, <laughs> So, what flipped my radar was, I watched out of Goshen's video when they were at Ashley's aunt and uncle's house. And I will admit, I actually had a midlife crisis moment. I really did. I looked at that house. Go to out of Goshen, let's find the link and, and share it with everybody. Wait, what link? The link I'm talking about. Go to out of Goshen. Wait, are you talking about the baby link? Because I already no, have that link. I'm not. Okay. Um... Let's see. Let me find the video here. So I saw the aunt and uncle's house. Yep, right there. And scroll down. Right. This one. Their <laughs> video, The Grass is Greener. So I watched that the other day. And I honestly, I had a midlife crisis moment. Yeah, I, I was like, that is where I want to live. Where is that? Michigan. Aha. Uh -huh. Right? Not not too far from where I'm going. Have you seen this video? You haven't seen this video, have you? No. Take a look real quick while we're on there. Uh, hold on a minute. I think you want me to share that for the oh, people yeah. first? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Share. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to do my job, woman. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Okay. Whoa, Dad. So, Watch well, the language. So, wait. You want me to turn this up? No, just jump, like, right up to here. You don't need to turn it up. Okay, keep going a little bit further. Keep going, like, right here. Oh, you don't want me to... No, like, right here. I don't know where it's at. Here, let me look. Maybe I should let you click. There. Okay, so just Whoa. look. Yes. Nice. Yes. Well, it's definitely the grass would be greener than here because the grass here is brown. <laughs> so hold on just a second. They're going to show the trees here in just a second. Okay. I'm... You can jump forward just a little bit. It's probably still there. Keep going. I I'm... just shared the link. Look, 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 look. Wow. Nice. Eric's Isn't got that a sunburn, beautiful? Too. Yeah. Eric's been in the sun. I was lot. like. That is where I want to live. Do they have to water it like crazy to get it that way? I don't think so. Here you have to put a massive amount of water on your grass. Okay, to so make it. Eric and Ashley, do they have to water that much to keep their grass that clean there? They get well, double the amount of water here. They're on the show so. right now. I know, I'm asking them. Oh. Go, okay. You're supposed to be on your thing. Well, I'm fine with moving tonight. I'm fine with saying pack our bags and leave. You're Come okay on. with it? I'm okay with it. So I saw that I video. I don't talk to any of my friends anymore. You don't? Oh, I saw yeah, that video friends. from out of Goshen and I was like, I want to live there. That's what I want to do. Well, so then the next morning, or two mornings, then two mornings, I think after I saw that video, I was actually having a midlife crisis. I'm like, I hate it in Colorado. I hate it in the suburbs. I don't want to be living here. I know I am not being content with my circumstances, but my entire life, all I've wanted to do is live in the country. That's all I've ever wanted to do. By yourself, right. without any family. It, yes. <laughs> but, even with the family, that's all I ever wanted to do. But, She seriously never, said that. <laughs> never, ever have I been able to really live in the country like that, except in Springfield, Colorado. And Springfield, Colorado is the desert, too. So Jamie started a new hashtag, make Dave drive there. I know. We thought he'd have all his driving time in. Uh. Um, I so, on Google here's Maps the thing. I am leaving tomorrow. Out of Goshen is picking me up Friday, and we're going to go look at it. Watch for the vlogs, guys. Then, Penny and I are going to go up, so watch for those vlogs. And then, we will know Friday afternoon if Mike's going to come out and look at it. I wouldn't have all and my driving in. It's 19 hours. We'll probably know by Saturday... Two ways, Dave. Two ways. Oh! Then we'll know by um, 
Saturday or Sunday if we're going to do this thing or not. And we may not let you guys know. <gasps> oh, we says, may have to keep them in suspense. Heather says grass is greener, more to mow. Out of Goshen said they didn't have to water much at all. Diana, oh, they didn't oh, have to water? La Diana not, says not most, that much. most of Michigan is not that green. They're in the Irish hills of Michigan. They likely water the lawns. Very dry in the north half of Michigan now. She oh. says. So, although this place, I can't imagine this place gets that dry if they grow blueberries there. Well, Don't blueberries need a lot of water? Yeah, they, blueberries need a ton of water. I can't imagine this place gets so dry because it's I will late. admit, today I was feeling a little disappointed because I looked up the frost date uh -oh. for gardening. So Wait, it's a farm and you can't garden on it? The frost date is June 3rd. Which means what? Our frost date here is May Mother's Day, May 12th. Which so means date, mark? They're, when they can plant things is two weeks later than what we can even plant them here, which means it is the same planting as Idaho. Okay. I Would you be okay with that, though? Who wouldn't? Wait. <laughs> I haven't had time to think about it. <laughs> Mommy introduced this idea to Dad yesterday, so... Actually, it's, this is the second day, I mean, so. I mean, the day before, or whatever. So, I don't know. Okay. okay, I'm done with the show. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Why do you want me to be done with the show? So you can play on the computer. No, 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 that's not why. I know better. Yeah, so, Mike was a little concerned about snow, but I think if we had a, like a little um, ATV with a plow on it or something like that, that would probably be okay. Can you turn that fan on low and point it this direction? Um, okay, so here's our question, guys. First of all, um, we know that they get a whole lot more snow, and we also know that it stays on the ground more than it does in Colorado. We get that. Kathy right? says greenhouse? Well, I had a greenhouse in Idaho, and it worked, actually it worked really well, didn't we it? We would probably do that again if we needed to plant a little earlier. Um, now, the area that we're at, it seems to be that the weather isn't quite as harsh because it's on the east side instead of the west side. Um, they get the same amount of snow as Colorado, but they get double the amount of rain, which would be great with me. Um, out of Goshen says the crops grow great there. Hmm. Uh, so if you're, if you're just joining us, we made the pie earlier in the show. And if you're on YouTube, you can actually rewind it and watch it now. Or either, either way, you can watch it afterwards. It's a delicious pie. I'm sharing the link again. Um, so here's our two concerns. Schools. We're going to be homeschooling Dave, so that doesn't matter. But Jack is really doing well at his school here. And he's learning amazing advanced things. In the and he is, they are a lot more advanced. So we don't want to go to the school and get that dumb common core stuff where they're not learning baloney um, and have to homeschool him. But... The schools are closed, so I can't call the school and ask what kind of stuff they have. But at the same time, we'll probably be homeschooling Jack in three or four years, probably anyway. So the school is a big factor. The other factor is snow, but we know that we would need to get snow tires. We already know that. And we already know that we would have to get a snow plow put on the pickup and an ATV or a snow blower or something. Okay, we can deal with that, right? Probably? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> if you're not having to shovel it by hand? Yeah, mainly it's the not shoveling. When we were in Idaho, I shoveled by hand and there was like, it was probably like a foot or more deep at a time and I shoveled like probably I probably shoveled about 100 feet, 5 feet wide. <laughs> so that was a lot of shoveling. You know what I just realized? What? I don't think the house has an attached garage. I wouldn't have to, we didn't have an attached garage in Idaho. I know, but we're 25 years younger. We don't need it. But we could stomp garage. through the snow and boots to the garage. I don't care, Mom. We, it's fine. Great. I don't know if it has an attached garage. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Could we attach in a garage? I wonder. 
All right. Oh cool. man, I don't know. So now I'm getting a little nervous. I admit, because what if I get out there and I really, really like it? The other thing is, I don't know how to say this nicely. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> What do you mean? Better not say anything, man. Oh. So they messed up my lip at the dentist office yesterday. They couldn't to get my cavity fixed. They couldn't get the ring thing on my tooth. And they totally messed up my lip. But did you guys notice? Ding! Did you notice? There's still a crack in your... Ding! There's still a crack you in your tooth. Ding! Mom. Did everybody notice my my new front teeth? Ding! <laughs> Wait, did Stop they making it... Um, did they completely remove them? No. Oh, they okay. like, patched up my two front teeth that I had knocked out when I was seven years old and they keep breaking oh, off. No. And I haven't had them fixed for like five years. Um, Betty says you have grown kids to do it for you. Well, Dave yeah. and Jack could do some, but our other kids may or may not come. We need to get a... <laughs> we need to get a lawnmower with a snow, a snow plow attachment. Yes. That's what we would get. Yeah. Yes. We we have um, no problem driving in snow because a number of people yeah. are talking about the tires and stuff. But we've driven no. in hey. we've driven in pretty seriously hey, snowy nice. conditions yeah. a lot. Jeez, yeah. It's so in fact, when we were in Idaho, I used to have to drive two hours each way every day. This would be a and good confession. In the winter time, we had a lot of snow and it was really slick. And I only once drove over the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> so. uh, I don't think it has a garage, Cecilia. I'm almost pre I'm almost positive, unless they didn't show it. I on think the it's thing. a detached garage, but I'm sure we could. Might be if, detached. If it's perfect in every other way, I'm sure we could work out something um, to make it work. Mom, but the school were a little. Okay, so here's what I was gonna say. I don't know how to say this nicely. Uh oh. But then you uh -oh. made that. But please don't dump these. I beg you. Please I didn't. Don't dump these. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Poor mom, she's having a traumatic accident. You're Uncle York. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um, okay, so I called three realtors today, and they weren't the friendliest. Hmm. So I was a little concerned about the friendliness of people in northeast. Michigan next to Lake Huron. Are they nice there? She means on. Hey. Hello. Hey, put oh make her uh make her a uh, moderator. Put I'll your make, put your channel on there. I'll make you a moderator so you can post Shimmy your channel. Dixon. I didn't know you yeah. were a YouTuber. Girlfriend, share your channel. It's great. I was loving it. She, she made all kinds of awesome art stuff. Awesome mixed media yeah. art. She does all kinds of artsy fartsy type yeah. stuff. Uh, artsy um, fartsy. Artsy, what? <laughs> Okay, I'm not sure that's the way she would like to be described. She makes all arts, artsy things. Um, not artsy parts. Okay, so when I talked to the realtors, I don't know. They they kind of rubbed me the wrong way, and I was being really nice. Well, one thing that I don't we know. weren't sure. One thing Are I was wondering nice about things? is that when we lived in Idaho. We thought nobody really liked we us. We had no friends. And we literally had no friends. We didn't feel like we had any friends. We thought nobody liked us because people were very short and didn't say a lot. And we were in the community doing a lot of things all the time. And uh, and when we realized we needed to leave uh, because I'd gotten laid off and I wasn't getting a job and we were going to come back over to Colorado. Caliber um, says it has a two car attached garage. When we realized that we needed to leave, we told everybody we were going to be selling the house and moving and they were like, Oh, that's terrible. We just love you guys so much. And, and, and we finally realized we just apparently did not understand the way people communicate in Idaho up to that point. And it was kind of strange that way. And, and so I always thought if we moved somewhere further to the north and east from where we are, that we might run into that problem again because people can be friendly, but because of your own experience, you may not recognize it. Like we're from, well, Colorado and Texas and, uh, well, Colorado used to be friendly, uh, Texas and Kansas, and people are really, really friendly. Like super, well, in Texas, they're really over the top friendly, except yeah. in Dallas, Fort Worth, well. Probably friendly there, but not as much over the top as the rest of the state. But going to a place where people are a little more reserved or a little 
whatever, it, it might be harder to get used to that. And we just weren't sure. But I think that's one of the reasons why I wanted you to go out there before we okay. sign papers on a place yes. or something. Well, so here's one point, and I, I've lost the thing. But Ellen, I think it was, said, you're just another tourist calling the res calling the realtors. That could be true. Well, yeah, they might that, get tired of that. Yeah, that could be very possible. I think my lip is swelling as we're going. Um, realtors here from lots of tourists. And then Colette says, the west side of the state, the people are nicer. Wait, Shelly says, I don't think you want to move. You sound like you're trying to find reasons not to like it. So here's the thing. No. Tara, she flames up like a, like a house on fire, and then she kind of sinks in. And, and this is, so when we looked at that house in Wisconsin, she got really, really excited about it. And I was like, maybe we should think about it. I don't know. And so then finally I thought, oh, this does look pretty nice. And then she said, oh, it's not going to work. <laughs> and so that's kind of her trajectory often. And so... I think I'm not just, saying that. I'm trying to. No, I'm not saying to that. To do all your points that you were saying. I'm just saying she's <coughs> in her own mind thinking of okay, now that she's in love with it. What so possibly? So here's could go my wrong? thing. So I don't want to fall in love with the house. Dave, can you hand me that ice thing? Fall in love with the house, and then in the door, the pink one, and then have like the people be really not nice. You know what I mean? <gasps> or something like that. Linda says, we just moved home from, we just moved home from Michigan. Cloudy, humidity, record-breaking wind chills. We would move back there in a second. Lots of great farmers markets. People are wonderful. We live in Lansing. I do think it, my impression from what we've seen on the comments from our viewers in Michigan is that people seem really friendly. Um, but I think you can't really tell a place unless you go there, which is why I, I kind of wanted Tara to go there and see it first. Um, I was a little hesitant about us flying out the very next day because there was major pressure that we would, it would suggest we would need to sign a contract right now. And my, what, in my experience, and if, that's fine. I get my that. experience, if you are, if you don't have enough time to, to contemplate something at all and you just sign papers and buy something, you're going to get yourself into something you don't want. So like I've had friends that go into the car dealer and they're not thinking about, buying a car, but they go in there and they think about it and somebody puts a fresher sale on them and they buy it. And that's what I'm saying is uh, super quick, we got to do this right this second things. I think, I think the potential is greater for a problem than not. But if Tara goes out there and she really likes it, we would go out right away. And if it was still available and we really liked it, then I wouldn't mind making that quick of a decision. So it was... So, me, but I like, wouldn't make a decision until you came out and saw it and were like, oh yeah, this is great. Yeah, well, we'll just get... And I may walk on the property. I'm one of these people, guys. I'm not joking. I will fly clear across the country or drive clear across the country to look at a property and I will literally step on the property and say, this is not going to work. I'm one of well, those I people... Well, I think it's often likely that she would do that, yeah. which is why I don't like to go unless yeah. she's seen it first. Because here's the problem. Because then I have to take off... Uh, half a week or a week of work, and then Tara steps on the property and says, I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's kind of what happened. Like Tennessee, really nice place, lots of nice people there, but she got there and in 10 minutes she knew this isn't the place that she could live just because of the temperatures and humidity. So and Kathy said that we could call the superintendent of the schools and ask what kind of curriculum they use. There's also- it, Well, it might be on their website too. There's also a private school, which might be pushing the budget if we have to get a loan on the house, but um, okay, here's because our house I, here is getting close enough. Yeah, to pay it we're out. almost paid off. So, guys, here is what I had done to my teeth. See, I got it fixed. Gwen says they're really nice up north. Never um, met a Michigander that wasn't nice except okay. in Detroit. <laughs> well, and it could be the whole tourist thing calling a realtor. I get that. I totally get that. Um, so, but I did today. You would think which, since they're well, so close Tara to Canada. Tara is going out there though, yeah. so we can get a more clear picture of what yeah. it's like. I even got pre-qualified for a loan today. So I'm taking that with me. So if we need to make an offer, I have that. Um, I have asked the realtor for the finances for the Blueberry Farm business to show me on Friday. Because that profit, would be relevant. The profit and loss because we are paying. Okay, so here's a, let me say this. If you can talk. We've had a few people say, <clears throat> Well, that's an awful expensive price. <laughs> Here's the thing, guys. Here in Colorado, we don't even come close to getting something like that for that price. The thing is, we are buying a house and
and a business. The house is worth about 350. The business is worth about 100 to 150, depending on what their profit and loss, their documents say for the business. So, but the other thing is our house here, we sold a house in Kansas and we had a stretch to buy our house in Colorado. And now we've almost paid off the house in Colorado. If we sell the house in Colorado, we'll have more than half down. The mortgage we would have yeah. to have on that is about the same as the mortgage on this mm -hmm. house when we bought this house. Yeah. And we're in a lot better shape. We were barely scraping by when we bought this house. So we're actually not quite that, we're not that close to the edge of the budget all the time. Yeah, here. the only other thing is, and a couple people emailed me and thank you guys, I appreciate this because my insurance agent told me totally different, but Michigan does have the number one highest car insurance rates in the country because they have a no fault thing. So our insurance will probably double on our cars. You. Is that worth that? But that would still be cheaper to pay the higher insurance than paying these are Another two hundred and fifty, three hundred thousand here in Colorado above that house. Uh, La Diana says the that. garage is attached. I looked it up. Oh, thank you so, guys. Oh, oh thank C you, Jamie. Cecilia says go meet the neighbors. Yes, I do. I try to always go talk to somebody. Now we don't have we, any. Oh, never mind. Now when we bought this house, we were the first house on this section of the subdivision, so I couldn't. But I did go to talk to other people in the neighborhood. Well, when we bought this house, a lot of the houses weren't here yet. So there wasn't a way to ask all the neighbors that were coming. Gwen says in charter schools, I don't know, do they have charter schools there? Because we love the charter schools here. We love the charter schools, but I could not find nice. a charter coach school. Oh, thank you, Sophia. Nice teeth. Do you guys like yeah. it? Thumbnail. Ding. Yeah, Tara was having some teeth problems, and now she's gone and so gotten them fixed. So yesterday I got a really big cavity that I didn't know I had fixed, and I got my two front teeth fixed, which has been driving me crazy for five years, and I've been putting it off. Well, okay, the realtors weren't not nice. They were just kind of standoffish. Oh, Jerry says that you're, they're going to love it up there. She See, I'm afraid I'm just going to fall in love and not want to come home. <laughs> and here's the other... It'd be okay. Here's the other problem on the timing thing. I might even come there with you. <laughs> wait, wait, we, we had a question that I'm trying to... Okay. Go ahead. We Tired. are trying to get these two cookbooks done. And if we throw a move in the middle of this, that is going to be like, we're supposed to be <clears throat> taking off and not adding more to our stress. Except, and so, yeah, so I can't like handle it. it anymore since then we've doubled what we're doing. Mom? Um, Susan is asking, uh, this I've been trying to get to this for a little while. Okay, yes, Susan, sorry. Is the cost of living the same there? I think it's, it's less. Lower. It's very, okay. it's pretty expensive where we are. So the utilities? Especially the property stuff. Yeah, the utilities are lower. The taxes water is lower. lower. The taxes. taxes are about the same, actually, on a normal house. But for this house, because it's a homestead farm, they're telling me there's no taxes. We're going to double but check on that. But even if there are that. taxes, they'd be it's about the same. It's $2,000. I checked. If they don't on homestead it. On a place that's, it, like, massively bigger than what we have here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, on a house that is twice the, twice the price that it is hat here, the taxes are the same as what we pay here. The only thing that I could find that goes up is the humidity and the car insurance yeah. everything else it would be actually cheaper and they have aldi an hour away yeah um robin says i'm surprised the real estate agent said they would not they would hold back offers to get there when i sold real estate we received an offer we were obligated to bring offer to the seller as soon as possible i think that they actually bring it i, I think they probably bring it to the sellers but they probably say hey or somebody say, else is really um, interested we got somebody else coming and you might want to wait in case they make a bigger offer or something it's probably what the agent meant so because i used to be a real estate appraiser and we have some i had some experience with real estate before well, too so she's somebody said two cars in michigan are cheaper than one and we have six laurel says stand and listen to the outside it may be very noisy at different times of the day yeah. yes well and especially i looked on google maps because i'm like that here's a moving tip for i you looked guys. so i i do a lot of things before we ever think about even going to a place like i look at the satellite image from above and i see what's around it and if something looks like a big junkyard in somebody's yard or whatever i pay attention to that but i told tara it looks like there's a railroad track at the back of the property but but it doesn't look like a main line and it looks like there's about three or four acres of trees between there yeah and so like here where we are there's a train downtown 
but it comes maybe once a week. Mm. And we never, almost never even hear it. But that's different than when we lived in Kansas and there would be a train really? every 15 minutes. Or when we lived in Round Rock, Texas. Oh, we didn't, the train was in our backyard. We rented apartment. an apartment not knowing there was a train in the backyard of the apartment complex. And the train would come through like five times in the night, honking its horn as it went through. Wait, come tell everybody what you so, think. We definitely, we check as much as we can on everything. In fact, I even like to go through the title history and look and see, like, there's not been a nuclear plant here. Or, or an India or Blair ground. Or something else that would oh, be potentially dangerous. We got bad news today. I didn't tell you. Okay. My brother was... Oh, Gwen says we will help pick blueberries. Ooh, thanks, Gwen. Go ahead, sorry. So, David got turned down by the Mayo Clinic. What? Why? They said that they feel that he's getting adequate medical care there. In Wichita. Maybe you should come apply and come look to Jewish in Denver. Maybe you should move out of Wichita. And... I'm thinking he should move to Michigan across the street from us. I think he us. should move to Rochester, Minnesota. And yeah. then, then Mayo Clinic would be the uh, primary care oh, no. hospital and they'd have to take it. Actually, if I was him, I would... They say people do that. Um... Listening about Michigan makes me want to move there, says Denise. Actually, what and I... And Dana Grandma. I got it. Thank you very much. You guys did not have um, to do that. When, but thank when you. When we were younger, we went to Idaho sight unseen. We really had never been there. We hadn't seen any pictures, didn't know anybody from there. We just heard what it was like and we went. We had now, never been to Idaho. Now that we have kids and I'm older, I'm less enthusiastic about going into the dark. Especially since we've had experiences like the Hoopy House in Manhattan, Kansas. The one with the uh, trash pile in the front yard and the sulfur well and all that nasty stuff. Um, so that's why it's like, I think we can decide pretty quick if we want to. Uh, how do BJ and Ellie feel about going? We do not know. I don't know. And the internet. it's... The internet is great. The internet is great there. Um, how do BJ and Ellie feel? We don't know how they feel. They It would be much cheaper for them to live there than here. And right here, they're having a problem because they they want to move out of the house and they're realizing, wow, $1,500 for them to move out of the house a month is really steep. And most places aren't like that. So they, BJ thought, he, he likes, he has, a, he's part of a car enthusiast club and they go do car drives and they work on cars and all this stuff. It's a huge group out of Denver and uh, he would miss that. But there probably would be a smaller group like that if he wanted to come. And then Ellie, we don't know. I don't know. How she, do you think about Michigan? They want to know what you've never been there. So probably if we were to move there, she would want to see it. Mm -hmm. And then she would mm -hmm. think, well, maybe I'll stay in Colorado. Maybe I'll come with you. I don't know. It would, we just have to see how it goes. Um, yeah, gonna... so my brother got turned down by the Mayo Clinic. They said that he's getting adequate care, but he's not. they're not doing anything for him. They know, so... the, they know what's wrong with him. They just won't help him. Yeah. So... I, insurance will totally double. We paid 250 here in New Mexico. We went to Michigan, we paid 753. Woo! Wow. But was it worth it? I don't know, it depends on why she went to Michigan, I guess. Yeah. Well, we would definitely need to check. Right here, there are a lot of, what part of Michigan? Right here, the... right here, right here, right here. Yeah, I did, I did a check. In the Lower Peninsula, and yeah, on that. You were just barely off. It was like right at our um, local. And we haven't decided to go there, involved. but we, yeah, Miriam, those prices are coming to Colorado, and then largely it's because people that hate the, are coming here. hate the prices in California come here to Colorado, and because it, it's creating a mat, uh, big price stress on, on Colorado, too. In fact, I, had a, I have some friends who are trying to buy a house closer to Boulder because uh, the husband works there, but people keep outbidding them on houses with... Uh, people keep bidding them on houses in the $500,000 and higher range with, by, by paying cash. So, you know, when people come in with cash and outbid you for $500,000, it's going to be tough to get a house. But yeah, so that's the thing BJ and Ellie were having problems with here is that it's the same kind of thing. Our prices for rentals are going up really high. Um, yeah, BJ is getting tired of the traffic in Colorado, but I have heard that people like to drive fast and close <laughs> in Michigan. That may not be true, but when I was looking online, that was one thing a lot of people said, so... Um, we'll see, but okay. yeah. What did you want to tell him, Jack? Oh, I also wanted yes. to tell you this, but... Ka um. Oh, sorry. Karen, yes, on the water crisis. We ha we would certainly ask about that. It's not near Flint, but... Yeah, 
but I know we would still check just not knowing how far that problem spread. So go ahead, Jack. So um, maybe we should just get a big magnetic, um, a big magnetic, uh, like, map of the world and just throw a dart into a random place. And and that's where we move. Oh, you <laughs> think that's theory style? Huh? Yes, theory style. I never seen that. Oh yes, okay. theory. So, so, no, um, so here, let's. And if it lands on the ocean, then like. Okay, let's just do have this. Have a house on the ocean. Close your eyes. Okay, give me your finger. No. Okay, close your eyes. Okay, here you go. Hold on, just a minute. Guam. He put his finger down. Oh, Guam. Stop it. <laughs> Oh, now it's in Vietnam. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, so here we go. So Jack's going to pick where our next state is. Are you ready? One, two, three, pick. <laughs> Guatemala! <laughs> okay, let's try for the United States, shall we? Okay. Wyoming. Jackson, Wyoming. Oh, my Colorado. See, I was liking Wyoming, except that, that we just, I would like trees. And you're not going to get a lot of trees in Wyoming. But Wyoming has a lot well, of the Colorado. Well, and the prices aren't a lot better in Wyoming. Wyoming has a lot of the Colorado huh? climate without as much chaos from as many people. But the prices oh, are yeah. nearly as high as up here. So yeah. we're down here, here, wherever we are. Um, yeah. Um, so Jane was asking about... Um, Emily? My, yeah. So, so Emily would just stay here, yeah. Emily, um, we, she's my niece, and we adopted her when she was 15, um, but she's, she's moved out because she was going to university, and then she moved in with a friend of hers from elementary school. And she's been in Colorado all her life and has no desire to go right now. So if we went, she would not come, although she, I'm sure we'd, she'd visit us and we'd visit her. But uh, that's why we don't talk about her as much, because she's not here. Yeah, she's just not here as so, much. Yeah. yeah, but we do talk to her regularly and, you know, all yeah. that, so. And she's she doing well. She's doing her own thing. Yeah, she's pretty so. jazzed about life, so. All right, guys, well, I will go live from somewhere in Michigan, hopefully, if I can get reception where we're at. There you go live at the um, house. Yes, Colette, there's a well on the property. So here's all the features of the house and why we want to have it. Hey. It, hold on. It has 30 acres. It's 4,000 square feet. It has, of that 4,000 square feet, it has an 800 square foot apartment type thing that we can use for a studio office with a garage door that we can use to have the semis back the books up and just ship from all one place, which would be wonderful. Um, it's a blueberry farm. It is already a going business. It is Which would literally... Be, well, and it's a business that's busy during our normal slow season. Yeah, yeah, during our book slow season. Um, it is literally just across the road to Lake Huron. So, I mean, there's trees, but you can see Lake Huron. Like you walk to the end of the property, yeah. walk across the street, and walk across a little bit of grass, and there you are. Maybe not even a quarter of, an eight, a quarter of a mile, maybe an eighth of a mile, depending on how the roads go to get there. Um, it is hot water radiant heat. That's geothermal hot water radiant heat. It has wood heat backup. It has an open concept. And here's the best part. Everything but one bedroom and bathroom is all on one floor. So I would just shove the boys upstairs, have the rest of the house to us. Um, what do you mean <laughs> meaning shove? <laughs> I've seen if you were paying attention. <laughs> Um, I would put the boys in their fun little hidey hole. Um, that's better. But, uh, so those, and it has 30 acres, and it's got 13 of those 30 acres are across the street, and mom could build, mom's been wanting to build a house, so mom could build a house there also. <laughs> so it would be good in a lot of ways. Yeah. Um, uh, actually... Uh, La Diana says they drive fast on the expressways. We don't mind fast on the expressways. I was thinking my uncle and aunt lived in the north woods of Wisconsin for a while and there would be these little roads where the woods came right up to the edge of the road and it was just two lanes and people would be driving really crazy fast, really close together. And I would be concerned, like here, we have deer run out in the road and stuff and I'd be concerned about driving that fast 
Uh, I mean, I would drive the speed limit, but I would be concerned about driving super fast on little narrow roads with, with uh, trees right up next to the road. But if it's on an expressway, it's not a big deal. And uh, if somebody said it's they drive faster or crazier the closer you are to Detroit, but we wouldn't be close to Detroit, so that would be a good thing. So, yeah, yeah, we were hearing about the no-fault insurance. Um, so, anyway, yeah. So there's a well, septic tank, which we're fine with that. Um, I wanted a well. No, Ellie is not adopted. Our niece, Emily, was. Yeah. Emily. So, Emily was not... Not, Not Ellie. Ellie. Um, well, we could just head up north if some kind of catastrophic accident happens in this country and then go to Canada. Head to Canada? Yeah. What was that all about? I don't know. I was going to ask you later. Oh, I have no idea. We, did, we really didn't delete anything on the show, so I'm not sure what that's... Shelly, I don't think anything's been deleted on the show, so I'm not sure what you're talking about. I'm sorry. Um, okay. So, let's see. What else do we have here? Nothing. So we'll see. I'm not gonna... I'm, I honestly, I am at the point that if it doesn't work out, I'm not gonna freak out about it. Don't worry. We have other plans that we can do. It's not that big of a deal. But it is a perfect house for us. Uh, no, they don't have cliffs with dirt road bandana grandma. It's all flat. You would love it. And you can come stay whatever you want. Um, poor bandana grandma. I think we scarred her for life. Are we going to have to pay for counseling for her now? Why? Going up Trowage Road. Or oh, Old Fall River Road. Yeah. Um. Would you have to change zoning if you had another house to the property? Not if it's across the street. Interesting. She actually, the agent, uh, shared some of that information with her. And but we some of that. You need to keep the pears out of the blueberries. Yeah. Didn't think about that. And Monday or Friday, if it, if I really think that it's something that I want to buy, I will go to the county and find out for sure on Mom's house and for sure on the taxes and that kind of thing and see. Uh, no basement. There is no basement. Yes. I don't like basements. So anyway, uh, all right, guys. So. I am off to Michigan tomorrow. Green day. Then we're gonna go see our my friend Penny. Everyone we love our viewer Penny. Day. She's our bud. We are gonna go visit Out of Goshen. They're gonna come be Out of Goshen's taxi service for me. Wait, can I come, please? I just suddenly had a feeling okay. Of... What are you gonna tell them? He needed more nibbies and water this share. Oh, he needed more water. Poor Buster was out of water. <laughs> oh, poor Buster. He was all out of water. Um, so, <laughs> Mom. Um, yes, Dave. Can I please go? Can you go with me to Michigan? I wish you could, but uh, I can't really get tight now. I'm praying for safe travel, safe flight, Tara. Man. <laughs> <I'm not sure laughs> so, Bandana has a video. Of, so, I was joking, over, I was only joking. So Bandana Grandma said something about, being, about filming, and I said, oh, here, you want me to get closer? And I kind of, I wasn't jerking the car over, but I just kind of, you know. And she was like, ah, oh, Tara, no, Tara, it's okay, no, no. Well, up here. Sorry, we're, I'm sorry. We've kind of learned the edge isn't as close as it looks, uh -uh. but, uh, so we don't really think about it. And no. I, I was, I didn't realize that, Tara, I didn't realize, because we were in the same car, that, um, that they were scared, but I realize a lot of people that have visited us, not that have ridden with us, but that have just driven up themselves, have mentioned being scared up there. So I, I didn't even think about that. You have just no thought, reason. To this be is a beautiful sorry. place on top of the world. <laughs> so, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Well, hold on. Yes, isn't it gorgeous? And I, this sounds dumb, but I've had this biggest kick where I want us to go kayaking. I actually want to kayak for my birthday. But the problem is, I don't have the strength to lift it up on the car to take it to the lake anywhere here to do That's it. That's why you have boys. Oh! Oh, Rosalie's asking, what are you planning with all these soap okay, shavings? Okay, so these were my soap shavings from my soap test that I did. And won't this make a cool confetti soap, guys? Nope. Yeah. Isn't that cool? I had to shave them to get them cleaned up for Dave to take all 85 pictures, the I wonderful son. And edit all 85 pictures. 
which took like oh. five hours of my time. You're today. doing good. Uh, I'm going to oh. share the sale for the Etsy soap, too. I forgot. Cause the soaps are off sale today. 25% off. Get it today. They're on sale till midnight. Midnight. 25% off. Midnight If you order time. $30 or more with free shipping. Yeah. So grab some soaps, guys. Grab some soaps. So, anyway. So Diane is asking Mike and Dave cooking on when, on Monday. Um, if they're probably, not in Michigan. Unless Tara says come out here right now. Which I probably would be cooking. We probably would be cooking on Monday. If so. not, then we'll be doing a live show from Michigan. So you'll just have to be in suspense. <laughs> okay. Where's then. Mike going to be on Monday? Oh, where's Mike on Monday? That Wait, rhymed somehow. Why, why Where in the world are Mike and Dave? Do, one question. <laughs> I have to put a do pin on have, the map. Do they have an AC outlet on the plane? Yes. Another question. If I were to come with you, could I just do stuff on the computer while we're on the plane? Yes. Okay. And my third question, why can't I come with you tomorrow? Because I don't want to spend $250 if it's a house that I don't think everybody's going to like. But, come on. No, okay, guys, really I got to go. Fine. My lip is swelling like I've been struck with a baseball bat. Yeah. Thanks for joining us today. and I hope you have a great rest of the day. No Friday show, Kathy. We canceled our Friday shows, so. Well, unless I do it. Okay, here's the thing. I might go live Friday at the house. If I really like the house, I might go live and test the internet there. Maybe. We'll see. So, anyway. All right. Well, have a wonderful Bye. night. I'm going to go eat this pie for dinner. <laughs> what? Oh. Anyway. <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye. Oh, sorry you're feeling low, dear. <laughs>